the Cobble Free School virtual open event. My name is Michaela Khatib. I was one of the original proposers for the school and now I'm the executive head. We've just moved into our beautiful brand new building here in Cobham and I'm looking forward to sharing with you what our school has to offer. I hope you find this event both informative and enjoyable and I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Welcome to Common Free School. My name is Laura Newman. I'm one of the joint heads of the senior department. I've been working at Common Free School since before it opened, and I am so proud to now be showing you around our new site. We're really excited to welcome your applications for next year's Year 7 and going forward. We have a very strong ethos here. We have high expectations for all our students. We have high aspirations for all our students and we have a community where every single child is welcomed. We look forward to meeting you soon. I am Amy Urso. I am the joint head of the senior school. And these are a sort of synopsis of questions that we've been asked by prospective parents that I wanted to have an opportunity to answer for you. Um, so the first sorts of questions were about the arts provision. Um, art, graphics, art textiles, music, dance and drama will all be offered at Cobham Free School. Um, there are new buildings going in as we speak um, and they will be ready by September, um, which will enable us to have um, a large auditorium for performances, a dance studio, we already have a drama studio, we already have art studio, graphics, textiles and plenty of music practice rooms and recording facilities. So lots and lots available for the arts at Cobham Free School. Clubs are a big part of our school. Uh, we run lots and lots of different clubs. Computing and coding are some of the clubs that we run. We also do sports, music, lots of art clubs, lots of language clubs. Um, and also clubs that are interesting to pupils. Um, we have six formers running clubs for younger pupils. We have pupils across all age groups running different clubs. Um, this is obviously something we can't do at the moment because of COVID, but as soon as COVID is over, then we will have a very full engagement of pupils from different year groups running different clubs. Wraparound care is available in the sense that we run a supervised study session in the evenings um, until about 4.30. Currently, the price of that is £3.25 a session, um, and we will be running that next year. What do students say they love about CFS? Um, we ask our students this a lot, and what they always come back with is that they love the fact that they are noticed at CFS. Somebody knows them, in fact, everybody knows them. We're a very small school, and we pride ourselves on knowing our students um, and taking great care of them. They also say they love things like the holidays, they love their friendship groups, um, they love the music and the art and the drama um, and specific subjects and they love being at CFS. Our students are very happy um, and now we have our new facilities they have an awful lot to be happy about as well. Languages are important to us. We run Spanish, French and Latin for all students. We also run a Greek um, club and we run an Italian club. Um, always plenty of opportunities to learn about languages. In future years, we will be expanding to four form entry in every year with 26 in every class. So 104 pupils per year group. That is how big we intend to be. We do not ever intend to become an enormous school with thousands and thousands of pupils. Pastoral care is very, very important to us. We have um, a designated assistant head who is in charge of pastoral. We have two key stage leaders, we have form tutors, we have year group leaders and we have a pastoral team as well, um, including a school social worker, access to school counsellors, um, access to ELSAs. So we have lots and lots in place for pastoral care. Um, it is very important to us that the students here feel safe and happy as well as have great academic success. And our SEND department is also 
very um, experienced. We have a full-time SENCO. We also have um, a number of teaching assistants with specialities, particularly in aspects such as dyslexia. Um, we stream in year seven in the sense that we have one accelerated group and then we have three mixed ability groups. And this runs through key stage three. Um, and what we find is this is, this is very helpful for enabling um, those students who are most able at, say, maths and science, particularly, to be given the most appropriate, most challenging work. When students get to key stage four, they will be settered according to ability um, in different lessons. So they will be set in maths, set in English, set in science in a particular manner according to what suits them best. What I would say, though, is that our streaming is not something that's set in stone. And also, we have the highest expectations for all pupils. Every single pupil, when they walk into our school gates, is expected to be aiming for the best that they possibly can. Competitive sports are currently rugby, football and netball, but they will increase as our facilities increase. We are looking to improve things like tennis, badminton, lacrosse. Um, we have a new head of PE, very ambitious, and we are looking to have many competitive sports that we will have our pupils engaged in. And finally, transport. What we have at Cobham Free School is a very um, innovative, very responsive parent body who work together to provide school transport. We do have a dedicated bus co coordinator at school as well. Her name is Laura Steele and she can answer any of your questions about transport. We have traditionally been a school that has had many students being bussed in from different areas. Now we're in our permanent site. We may find this is slightly different and most pupils we find will be walking or cycling to school. Thank you very much. I hope this answers some of the most pertinent questions for you and we very much look forward to answering any more questions that you have or indeed seeing your children with us in September. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you very much.